folks, how are you doing? Hope you're all keeping well. Well, welcome to Martin's Kitchen up in Ranstown here. Um, today I'm going to do wheat and bread. I say there's thousands of recipes for wheat and bread out there. This isn't too difficult. There's just a couple of wee additional things in it, um, but the core ingredients are the same. Uh, we've got wholemeal flour, we've got plain flour or strong white flour, but plain flour will be fine. Uh, a small bit of sugar, a small pinch of salt, buttermilk, and then sort of these are the, you know, the optional extras. A bit of golden syrup, treacle, and some sort of mixed seeds. There's linseed in there, there's sesame seeds, there's pumpkin seeds. There's two or three other ones that I probably don't even know, but they're in there and they're good for you. Plenty of omega. Okay, so right, I'm going to wash my hands here. Uh, sorry, first let's just show you. It's a, just a one pound loaf tin. I'll spread it with some sort of spray uh, oil, line it with grease brush paper, and then just give it another wee spray on the, the inside. And that's it. That's, so that's that part now. So I'll just give my hands a wash. Um, and my sister has just told me off there now for not washing my hands for 20 seconds. So I put the top on this here. She's a nurse. She just made the wheat and bread. Um, so I'm just going to give it a full 20 seconds. Okay. I hope that's her having now. Yeah. Okay, right folks, I say it is very, very simple. If you have your ingredients out in front of you, it takes you five minutes to weigh these out. It takes you less than five minutes to, to make the dough and 35, 40 minutes to cook. So it really, really is simple. Okay, so we'll start the wholemeal flour. There's 300 grams of wholemeal flour there. 100 grams, this is strong bread flour, but you, just plain white flour will be fine. So 100 grams of that. Then bicarbonate soda. Not baking powder because bicarbonate soda reacts with the buttermilk, the acid in the buttermilk. So one and a half teaspoons of bicarbonate soda. 25 grams of caster sugar. And this here, I mean, it's just a wee pinch of salt. I don't even know if it does anything, but you know, because there's not a lot of sugar, it just might balance it a wee bit. If you're making something with a lot of sugar, you probably don't need the salt. Um, so that's it, now just give that a wee mix. So that's all your dry ingredients. Now we're just gonna add the treacle and the golden syrup. And I say these are sort of formed both the same, some very similar from sort of the process of making the sugar. Um, so it just gives it a wee bit of sweetness. The, the golden syrup does. So that's the golden syrup, just a, a dessert spoon. So just let that drop off. And then the treacle. It's just the it's just one of the products from you know making the you know your standard sugar. And this gives it a sort of a bit of richness and makes it nice and your wheat bread nice and dark. Again, you, you don't need these. I think it, it's sort of it's worth having them. But if you didn't have them, you still have wheat and bread. So that's those two in. Right, and then buttermilk. Again, I promise, some buttermilks are different. Some are some are thicker than others. Um, so it's approximately about two hundred and fifty grams of buttermilk. So I'm just before my hands are dirty. I'm just going to lift out some flour on the board, just so needing it. Okay, so I'm just going to mix those all around. So that's, that's still all your dry ingredients plus the golden syrup and the treacle. Right, and then what I've got here is the, the seeds. I'm just going to hold a few of them back. There's 50 grams of seeds there, but I'm just going to hold a few of them back just to sprinkle on top. Again, it's just an added extra. You don't need them, but it's just that wee bit of texture uh, in the bread. So, right, just start to gradually add your buttermilk. And again, just with the fingers, as if you had four wooden spoons in there. Some people use a knife. That's the, probably the traditional way to do it, just uh, like a bread knife. I used to see my mum making it with a bread knife. Um, so just mix it, small bit of buttermilk at a time. 
gonna say it probably will take 250. This is a 500 mil tub. It'll probably just take half that. And you see it starting to come together there now. Just scrape up right down to the bottom. That's still a wee bit too dry. And if you add a wee bit too much buttermilk, you can always add a bit more of the, one of the flowers. Yeah, that's fine. So that's all come together. And it's, it's sticky, but it's not, it's not wet. So that, that's that, you know, that's, that's the dough. That's, you know, less than a minute made that. So right, just get some flour right in the middle of the palm of your hand and just scrape your fingers off. Okay, and then both hands, just rub it in. Because I find it always sticks to the, just the middle of the palm of your hand. Just roll it out in one ball. Should all come out together. There you go. Right, so just give it, you don't want to over it. Just you want to shape it, you know, take any sort of rough edges off it. Just a couple of needs. And then just tuck it in. But just as it keep that in your hands. Just tuck it in. And you want it sort of as close to the similar shape as your roasting tray. So sort of an oblong shape, and then just drop it in, push it out a wee bit, it will rise, and the bicarbonate of soda and the buttermilk sort of heat up, that's your natural raisin agent in it. So that's that, just push it out to the corner, I'm just going to give my hands a quick wash. Again, I'll take, depending on your oven, 35-40 minutes, but I'll show you, we'll test it halfway through, and then we'll test it at the end just to show you what you're looking for uh, to get it ready. Okay, so just, I'm just gonna pour a wee tiny bit of buttermilk. I never used to do this. I used to put it in the oven. The other, last time I made it, I just, I thought I'll brush it with buttermilk and it really does give it a nice golden finish. It, do, it does work. Ordinary milk will be fine, but you've got the buttermilk out, you might as well use it. And then just with the rest of the seeds that are left over, just sprinkle them all. And that's it, folks. If you'd have timed that, that's probably less than five minutes of rolling that all out, making your dough and putting it in the thing. That's how easy it is. If you've got a look at that, it's, you can tell that's going to be, that's going to look homemade. Um, so right, okay, we're going to pop this in the oven for 35-40 minutes as I say and we'll, we'll check it after 15 minutes just to show it rising and then we'll come back after 30 minutes and I'll show you what it's like when it should be ready. Okay, so just straight in, preheat it oven 180 degrees and we'll come back to that in a bit. Alright everybody, the big braids had 15 minutes. I'll just show you what it looks like after 15 minutes. I mean, it's, the, it's formed a sort of nice crust, but that there does look, does look a bit special. So that's 15 minutes, probably another 15, 20 minutes, but um, I'll show you how to test it when it's ready. We just put a, you know, a clean skewer into it, it comes out clean, or you can tap it in the bottom if it's sort of hollow. Um, so we'll come back to that in 15 minutes. Right, folks, the Queen of Bread has the full, had the full 35 minutes, and that's what it looks like. I don't know if it used, but I think that looks a bit special. It looks almost professional, made that, uh, which is, it certainly isn't. A um, couple of ways to test that it's ready. Um, one is a skewer, a clean sort of skewer. Just pop it in, put it right into the middle, leave it for 10 seconds, um, and then we'll just, I'll show you what you do. Just hold it to your bottom lip, and if it burns your bottom lip, it's ready. You'll have a burnt bottom lip, but the wheat and bread will ease that. Anyway, and the other way is just, just tap the bottom of it. I don't know if you can hear that. It's sort of a hollow sound, but you can tell. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to let this cool for about 20 minutes, half an hour, just because we're going to butter. Obviously, if you took a slice now, you couldn't butter it. Um, another tip, I mean, that's quite a, quite a firm crust on that. What you, if you didn't want the firm crust, wrap it in a clean tea towel and it sort of, 
it almost steams and it just softens up the crust a wee bit. So we'll let that cool for a good half hour and we'll come back to it. And I say just one benefit of lockdown is we had a clean, we've been in this house a few years now and we had a clean out and still get the label on it. A new board, a new chopping board, so every cloud, folks. So anyway, listen, we'll come back to that in half an hour. Uh, if you want to just have a look at it there, it does look very, very homemade, rustic, lovely with smoked salmon, prawn cocktail, just plain toasted, poached eggs, scrambled eggs, whatever. But um, I think it looks good. So we'll come back to it in half an hour. Butter slice, we'll taste it uh, and we'll take it from there. Okay, folks, so it's cooled down now 20 25 minutes. It's still warm. Um, when I go to butter, it might start to melt, but that's one of the nice big pleasures. Um, it's nice and crusty. If you want to come into it just to hear the, the crunch of the, the thing. You know when you hear that, it's going to be good. And I say, I think this maybe is still a wee bit too warm to butter. But that's it, I mean, look, nice tight texture. It feels, you know, it's a loaf, it's a one pound loaf, it feels heavy, but you know, when you cut a slice, it's okay, you know, it's, and it, it's good for you, there's all goodness in there. So we're just gonna give it a wee butter, and this butter probably will melt. It is, yeah, you can see it melting already, but you, it's worth it. And we're just gonna give it a wee try, just a corner. Lovely crust on it. That's the first thing you get the crust. Then it's there's no it's not overly sweet. Um, just that right amount of sugar, 25 grams of sugar. The golden syrup and the treacle sort of they balance each other out. Um, that's it, folks. Give it a go. Poached eggs, prawn cocktail, whatever. Just plain toast it. Bit of cheese and pickle. Lovely. Um, and I'm delighted, I'm more actually delighted we found the board um, than the wheat and bread, but the wheat and bread is good, folks. So give it a go, uh, and we'll get another wheat video up for you again soon. Okay, take care everybody, bye.